So now I'm joined by Matthias, and we're going to have a bit of focus now on the Dach region. So that's Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. Matthias, welcome. No, thank you very much, Nick. First time in Money 2020? Uh, no, it's actually the second time. I okay. uh, was here last year, but this year you can already feel it's a lot more going on. Yeah, exactly, more, more energy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's great. I love it. And tell me about Endava's presence in, in the region in Dach. Yeah. So we've been, we've been around for a couple of years, right? And in payments especially, uh, we work with the likes of Concardis, uh, a couple of others I, I can't name, unfortunately. Okay, cool. But um, yeah, we, we, we work a lot on the acquiring side of things, uh, some PSPs. And um, yeah, we're only only looking to, to do more. Uh, it's, it's a great market. Sure. And uh, there was quite a lot of excitement in the German market yeah. specifically. And the yeah. last handful of, I mean, last week, I think even, yeah, was two a weeks big problem ago, yeah. with, with terminals Absolutely. in that market. Yeah, yeah. So what, 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 what went on? So what went wrong was that a specific type of terminal uh -huh. just didn't function anymore right okay. and so that created a lot of problems for uh, a lot of merchants especially in the south of uh, south of germany okay and um, it affected i think one of the big supermarket brands yeah as well, Aldi right? Zoot, exactly uh, and um, of course a couple of others and uh, it was a big issue and it, i think still today it is and uh, it was a term it was like an it was like a um, like a terminal that was out of support right yeah and it i think it was an old terminal it, it was an older terminal and um, but that, I think, is one of the issues that we have, right? Rather outdated or older uh, infrastructure on the terminal side. Sure. Um, combine that with uh, the chip uh, crisis that we're currently experiencing. Also, oh, they're getting new terminals. New terminals to get those, very difficult. Uh, there are some, some smart players who bought them uh, and who stored them a couple of years ago. But others who didn't do that, they have an issue now. Yeah. And the dynamic of this market, of, of Germany in particular, but Austria and Switzerland, has always been a bit different from the, the rest of, uh, well, certainly from northern, further north in, in Europe. Yeah. Um, and it feels like mobile payments has got a big opportunity in this market because cards doesn't have the same kind of momentum, particularly in Germany. Yeah. And there's this thing, a European Mobile Payment uh, Systems Association, I think, yeah. which is... Which is recently kind of got got some momentum what can you tell me about that so uh, i think this is a really really good opportunity for a couple of as you say mobile uh, systems or providers really okay uh, to create this like roaming space for mobile mobile payments in in europe so okay. we currently i think have 15 participants from from the nordics uh, from uh, mainland europe um so and this is where you'd be, able, you'd be able to use what, which are kind of historically domestic mobile payment systems like VIPs, like VIPs, but outside of their home geography. I don't know how it exactly works. There's, I think they're uh, still establishing it. Okay. Um, but the vision is basically to create a seamless, um, yeah, roaming zone. Okay. Really. Like you know from from uh, with, cell with mobile exactly. exactly yeah. Oh, that's really cool. And I, I mean, it's an endlessly fascinating market because a huge number of people in this region, but just not the same kind of payments infrastructure that we see in the, you know, here or in, yeah. uh, in uh, the UK or in France or in the yeah. Nordics. Yeah. And I think uh, what, what we do uh, a lot of times at our clients is actually to bring rather old systems into the modern world, right? A lot of re-architecturing or a completely new build of, of systems. Of course. Um, and that is, of course, a heavy lifting where, where you need experienced people and we're, we're there to help. Good to know. Well, thanks very much for, uh, for talking us through that today. And uh, yeah, always good to be here in Amsterdam and to be hearing more about the German, Austrian and Swiss market. Well, thank you very much, Nick.